Ladies and gentlemen, it is an exciting day today. Today I have found this Newell coach that is still in production. That is one of the nicest paint jobs I've seen on any Newell coach. Today I'm hanging out with the famous Phil Cornelius. How you doing today, hey, sir? Andrew, good to see you. Likewise, sir. This is an absolutely stunning coach behind you. What's the story, sir? Uh, this is a, a custom ordered coach, uh, ordered by a couple that uh, enjoyed the, the boating lifestyle as well. And um, there's some things in the paint that reflect uh, their appreciation for the boating uh, lifestyle. There's a very cool story about the inspiration of the design of this Newell coach behind me. I did do a video interviewing the owner of this coach. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Let's take a look at a couple of the things that we're seeing in it. You were just pointing out the lights here on this coach. Is that standard or? Uh... No, he, he, added, he added some lights along the top. Uh, uh, looks like an extra one down below. Uh, then we've also got uh, along that belt rail we've got some indirect lighting as well and then all along the bottom you've got lighting keep in mind this is still in production also we're uh we're going through some inspection stages you can see a little bit of uh some of the tape on the paint if we see anything that we aren't uh, completely happy with we'll go back and the naked eye might not even be able to pick it up but our guys can pick it up. Yeah, and talking about that, there's a lot of stuff in this paint scheme that the naked eye can't pick up. You yeah. want to give us a closer look here? Let's take yeah. a closer look and uh, show the folks some of the really cool, Please. you guys have been stepping up your design. It. This is a custom series Ryan Laux design number seven. Absolutely, yeah, that's, uh, uh, he, he's been doing a fantastic job for us and uh, we're really, uh, really excited about some of the things that, that he's brought to the table. Our customers love working with him and, uh, and he just does a fantastic job. Our, our, our paint guys are, uh, are picking up all these uh, new special effects that we, uh, we started incorporating and they're, they're doing a great job as well. Here you've got some ghosting, you've got some drop shadowing, of course the uh, contrasting pinstripes that you have along here. Uh, lots of metallic in that as well. Yeah, it's, a, it's such a slight ghosting that I don't know if the camera is even picking it up, but you actually have different patterns here with, like you said, a heavy metallic, and then there's fades going on as well. So you can notice like this silver turns into a darker gray while you have other images ghosted in between. And then as Phil was mentioning, those drop shadows and all of the different pins. I love the the style that you guys have just really stepped up your game and then up in that blue there's another ghosted image with a different color blues right this is just an uh, incredible coach well and then uh, you'll notice there there's some stenciling going on as well and this this paint job in particular uh required a lot of uh detail work with uh, as far as removing the stencils uh pieces of the stencil and, and painting it you can see some of it up through here and then on the back as well. Yeah, let's take a look at the back here. The back and the front. Uh, yeah. When you look at all the little the little dots and pieces, uh, and, and again, the uh, you're going to be visiting with the uh, the owners as to the uh, the theme, if you yeah. will. And uh, it's, it really was a challenge. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but we're up for it, and uh, it turned out fantastic. Absolutely, probably one of my favorite Newell coach paint jobs I've ever seen. And here you, you've got not just the stenciling, but you've also got the ghosting going on here. And with the ghosting, uh, depending on the, the light, if the light's hitting it, you can, it will actually disappear and reappear yeah. as, you walk, uh, as you walk by it or as it's driving by you. Well, I'm excited about this paint job, Phil, but there's some stuff going on in the basement bays as well. Sure. Yeah, we'll look, at, we'll look at all the bays. Uh, Again, we haven't pulled all the protection off of it yet, but we will uh, once we get it finished. Yeah, and we're gonna show you inside of this coach in a moment. I'm excited about this coach. So as Phil's opening these doors, I wanna point out these bifold basement doors that Newell Coach uses. Very industrial style finish. You can see by the hinges here and just very easy to use. And I like how it folds up so that you've got easy access to get into those bays. They uh, selected a grill. Yeah, and as we've talked about in previous videos, all of these newer newels have these remotes that are just very easy to use. They've got that Velcro backing so you can stick them on the carpet there. And this is very cool to see this exterior kitchen. What's the story here, sir? Well, you've got, you've got the, uh, the grill. 
Yeah. There's a lot of storage here. It looks like this is all real carbon fiber. I like that air. Yeah, they just turn it. Oh, a little slight turn. I like that. Yep. Kind of aircraft style hardware. Very cool. A little bit of storage here for some utensils. Looks like um, some speakers are built in got, there. Got the speaker built in. Now this one also has. Yeah, on both sides here. Both sides we're able to extend the, the countertop so they've got a good workspace. Yeah. I love it. And then not only do you have the big exterior kitchen, but a ton of storage behind your kitchen. And here's all those goodies that Newell Coach puts in all their coaches. Make sure that you're prepared for going down the road. All right, so going into bay two here, what's going on, sir? Well, this is, uh, they, they've got a, uh, a Dometic uh, refrigerator freezer unit. Can open from either side but we got it to where it just clears the, do the door so they can uh, open up both of them nice and still have access on this side to the rest of your storage behind it yeah now so. looking in that storage i like how it's got the compartment there but that is really cool i see like a newell i don't i don't know what that is but well, it's got that, the newell uh, emblem we're, we're going to talk about that a little bit and james is going to talk to you about that uh, as well in more detail but that's the new cover for the new uh, newell n1 electrical system that we're incorporating nowadays very cool okay and this bay is your your electrical bay we've got a removable box so that it's easy to get in for service yep I'll, I'll give everybody a little demonstration here so this is set for a technician to be able to sit on this and then slide right in here go to work on everything comfortably when you're all done you just slide right out is that how that's designed phil that, that's it yes that's sir it. I've been hanging around you guys long enough. I'm, I'm picking up on your tricks here. Well, the, be the beauty of the new uh, the N1 system, one of the features is that we've got resettable breakers now uh, that uh, you don't even have to come down. If a fuse, uh, previously, if a fuse uh, was to, to pop or a breaker were to, to go off, you'd have to come down and address it here. Now you can do it. We've got a panel just like this one inside. Yep. That will not only allow you to reset breakers uh, remotely, but also um, do diagnostics. Yes, so you sir. know what, why it did it. Yes, sir. Uh, doesn't happen often, but every once in a while something could happen. You could get a surge uh, and uh, they might have to, to be reset. Great system, uh, spider uh, systems. Uh, spider Controls is still the, the company that we use. They've been a fantastic vendor for for decades, so we're uh, we're excited about the new N1. Over here, you have uh, your TV. Yeah. And we've got a sound a sound bar up above it, but you uh, pull the TV out all the way, and you've got access to your Aqua Hot. We it's, use a 675, not the smaller one that you'll see on some of the products out there, but this is a little more industrial grade. And I love how you guys finished it out. Just that really sleek look here on that design yep. to cover it all up. There's that sound bar. And, and then uh, you've also got a, a touchscreen panel here. Uh, you've got your, for your light controls and then uh, Aqua Hot, you can turn the Aqua Hot on here. Uh, there's several other uh, controls in this area. Yes, sir. Uh, I love the stainless uh, diesel fuel tank. How many gallons is this fuel tank? Two, 200 gallons, and then we've got 15 gallons of, uh, of diesel exhaust fluid. Now you can you fill that up on the same side, on the driver's side. You, you could put some miles down with 200 Absolutely. gallons of diesel fuel. You've got your house batteries here, and uh, what's going on up here? Well, you've got your quick disconnect here. You've got your, you can turn them off uh, completely here. For servicing, it's great. They slide out, uh, you're not having to get inside a compartment and wrestle them out. They're, uh, they're e easy access. Yeah, let's get a look here. This is the Cummins IS or X15. X15, yes, sir. It's that power washer hose reel. We saw that power washer uh, wand in the front bay there. Right, right. Uh, the, i tell you what, the, uh, the power wash, you, you think about just washing your coach, but there's a lot of other things that you can use it for. To, to spray. Let's say you're traveling and you're parking on a lot that's got some debris on it. You can clean off the lot, clean off your lot that you own and, 
Motor Coach Country Club or uh, yeah. down in Florida or wherever. But I had the experience here recently of coming home late at night and hit some bugs like you wouldn't believe. And I had to get out and I didn't have a pressure washer on the coach. And I had to get out with a spray can and some microfiber and try to clean it up because the wipers are just gonna smear it. And uh, if I'd had a power washer, it'd have been done in 10 minutes. Yes, sir, true story. <laughs> Here you, you've got access to your, your fuses for the chassis area. Uh, your rear engine start. Uh, also, with the pressure washer, you have the ability to to uh, use our deionized water system if you want. Yes, sir. As well. So that. How much horsepower and torque is this X15 putting you've out? Got, you've got 605 horsepower uh, on the on the engine, and uh, 1,950 pounds of torque as compared to our only competitors it's like 500 horsepower and 1750 i believe is where they're at yeah between the extra power and the steerable tag it's hard to compete with oh. you guys here i really like people to see how open this engine is yeah as far as, as, far as the, the accessibility uh, you've got one fan instead of like 12 little fans you've got one uh, big cooling fan that uh, takes care of the cooling um, We've got the uh, air hose uh, that allows you to go from uh, front to back. Uh, you can air up your tires you if you need. Air, air up your tires. We also have on the side, we have a uh, pressure multiplier so that uh, it doubles your, doubles your pressure. So you, you can uh, get good pressure for airing up tires. Nice. Uh, you, on, the, on the power washer also, we've got a connection here and one in the front. Yes, sir. So that you can move that hose from front to back and you don't have to be pulling it uh, everywhere if you don't nice. want to. One of the one of the other things uh, I do like to point out on, on both fuel doors, you have this uh, camera. You have the the camera that allows you to see the fuel pump as you're pulling into the the truck stop. Yes, sir. There's that stainless steel 200 gallon diesel fuel reservoir. Then your 15 gallons of DEF. Right, right. And we that that diesel uh, it, it's or that DEF is pretty corrosive, so. We've got a little uh, protection here. Now this is the uh, this is the water the plumbing bay. You've got your 110 volt uh, water uh, pump and then your 12 volt uh, backup as well. Notice how much space you've got to work with in here. Also, uh, I've noticed on a lot of products out there that you can hardly get a wrench in there. Yeah. And then on the sewer hose it's a pre-connected hose with a knife valve here so if you have any residual that comes through it's always going to you're always going to be able to stop it yes sir and uh, it's pre-connected so you're not having to you know unscrew it and uh, attach it or uh, detach yeah, it. yeah makes makes hooking up your sewer hose a lot easier uh, and then this little faucet area that can come out if you need to wash right, your hands right. you've got a cleaning center here and then you've got your uh, water hose that actually comes through the, the bottom here and then we can keep the varmints out yes sir that is retractable as well uh then you so got your yeah electric you get your holding tank clean out another touch screen out here yeah. and then uh, your manifold system allows you to to cut off a specific area inside if you if you were to have a say a leaky faucet or something you don't have to shut down the whole coach yes sir we're talking about production and you see this little green tape on the coach it's anywhere where there's is that where there's any kind of flaws or anything they go through and, and yeah, they're, touch? They're, it's, and again it's hard for me to pick it up these guys are pretty particular about their work and and i, I can't even tell what that one is but they they know what it is yeah <laughs> but uh Now this this bay has I mentioned the deionized water a while ago. These are these are the filters for the deionized oh, okay. water. Yes, uh, sir. For the pressure washer. Now on the uh, on the generator cooling system, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of products out there have a little radiator and fan on the side of the generator. And that's it. We have a 20 kW diesel generator, and we want to increase that ambient temperature rating. So we've got a larger. Uh, radiator and cooling system. Uh, you can see how big that squirrel cage fan is. It's pulling air out of the side of the coach. Yep. Uh, from the side of the coach and, and blowing it down. Nice. Then your storage bay is from the other side, uh, and you can you can extend them both sides. Yes, on sir. Both sides. 
this bay uh, has some of the uh, the fuses uh, for the the cockpit area um, and then we've got two air compressors instead of just one like most uh, products have we have two uh, you've got a lot of pneumatic systems on board so uh, like your your entry door uh, your pocket doors for the bathroom and for the bedroom all of those are, are pneumatic uh, and so we want to make sure we always have air if one of these compressors were to go out you can flip over to the other one and uh, then you've got a toggle switch that allows you to exercise them both as well. Nice. Then your generator. This is a uh, 20 kW generator up here. Yeah, it's a 20 kW. It's uh, Martin is the company that uh, that actually is the uh, the generator company. Uh, but they're using a Yanmar engine here. Uh, Yanmar, they use those engines over in the Middle East, running 24/7. Yes, sir. Uh, so they're they're a workhorse for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, it's on it's on airbags. It's got its own fire suppression system up here in the in the uh, compartment as well. Uh, very quiet. And I, I mentioned earlier that uh, you know the the biggest abuse of generators is not running them enough. These things are designed to run continuously, um, and our customers, uh, they'd prefer to do this than have a bunch of batteries that are pulling uh, power off the engine. It's much more efficient to use your generator to run air conditioners than trying to go through uh, the engine, then the batteries, and then the inverters, and then uh, the air conditioner. Well, I'm, I'm really excited about the exterior of this coach, but let's go take a look inside and see what's going on on the inside of this coach. Sure. Bill, this is an amazing looking coach. What's the story here, sir? Well, this is a customer's coach. Um, the uh, couple that, that custom designed this coach, they were into boating and um, they wanted to uh, bring some of their, their taste in the, from the boating uh, hobby into their motorhome. This has got a few things that I'm noticing, even as I talk to you here, like this hardware right here, a lot of very cool stuff that I haven't seen in any other Newell coaches. What uh, what's all going on, sir? Well, as you know, Andrew, we we custom design uh, everything, and so the the clients bring their ideas in, and we're happy to do that. A lot of times we don't we don't have the uh, hardware on the on the cabinetry, but in this case, they wanted to have some hardware, uh, uh, some pulls, and so we were able to do that. Uh, it's not a not a big deal at all. Uh, they chose the, the quartz uh, countertop. Uh, the quartz is coming with uh, these days with a lot more uh, variety uh, as far as the, the look and the uh, textures. Yeah, talking about textures, that couch behind you, that's just an incredible texture unlike anything I've ever seen. Now, I've got to get the folks on YouTube a close-up here. Very, uh, very cool uh, two-toned with a very with a very high-end fabric and then a leather here. What's all going on with this couch, sir? Uh, it's got a, it's a hide-a-bed. Um, we've got the, uh, like I said, we've got the, the back to give it more of a chase lounge feel whenever they're uh, watching TV. I'm also noticing too, over on this panel over here, usually we would have some light switches. I don't see any light switches in this coach. What's going on, sir? Yes, Andrew, the uh, the new electrical system that we're just introducing, uh, the newels that are coming out now, uh, we have the new uh, N1 electrical system. Uh, there's a, a number of uh, benefits to that system, but one of them is the fact that uh, we've been able to eliminate all the individual switches uh, that you normally see on a newel. Uh, over, you'll see, we see uh, switches on on each end of the the slide now we have one um, touch panel and that touch panel allows you to, to kind of drill down into other functions 
Nice. Right, so you can control all of your lighting and it's all on that nice sleek panel. Right. Uh, what else can you control there? It looks like your fans, right, your, your shades. Your awnings. And now also, in addition to the, the switch panel, we've got the, the iPad, uh, iPad controls that allow us to control virtually everything in the coach as well. So wherever they've got an iPad, they can uh, control the same, same things that they can from the, the touchpad. Yeah, this is... Uh, Got your lighting controls, shade controls, uh, some of the other systems, uh, your air conditioning and heating, uh, all that from the iPad. Um, also on the Intrepid system, you uh, you have the same ability, and you've got these screens uh, here and in the and in but the bedroom. Yeah, one of, one of the things that uh, that people often ask is uh, where's the owner's manual. And um, instead of having a, a large book, uh, we, we put the owner's manual into the Intrepid system. Let me show you how we do that. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's, uh, we're on the air conditioning screen right now. There's several screens just like uh, I showed you on the iPad. Uh, lighting controls, shade controls, uh, some of your other uh, systems. And then back to the air conditioning controls. But let's say I, I wanna, I've got a question about the shower fan. I'm gonna hit this little question mark here. And then these little question marks come up. And so it'll 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 give you some help on what you can do. Uh, this is actually on the air conditioning uh, inverted air. Uh, let me go back to another screen. Let's say I've got some questions about the uh, RGB lights. It'll go into uh, an explanation of what uh, what you can do to uh, change the way the uh, the lights work. You can select your own color. You can select the sequence of colors. Oh, very cool! So it's like a page out of the owner's manuals right here on this digital yeah. screen. Yeah, that, that way you don't have to have a book that you have to go try to find and, and you can uh, look on the on the screen itself. Yes, sir. And, and that, that those question marks are all over the, the Intrepid system for all the different functions and systems in the coach. Very cool, yeah. very cool. Now, uh, you were just showing me up here by the cockpit area. I don't want to jump ahead too far. Oh, Some kind of new design styling I'm seeing up here. What's all What's all new up here, sir? Well, uh, you'll notice that, that in the uh, on the sides, instead of the, uh, we had kind of a teardrop uh, plexiglass door. Uh, we've started to finish those off uh, with uh, the fabric and uh, matching fabric to the, the rest of the, the coach. And yeah. then uh, you've got access to your uh, on antenna controls, the cable controls. Uh, this this is the uh, awning control for the carefree awning. Yes, sir. And then this pad right here, I always like to point this out, your uh, GPS for your passenger there. And then that can be toggled over to the driver as well? Well, it depends on, depends on which uh, GPS system they choose. If you choose the Rand McNally, it can uh, go, go over to the, the main screen. If you choose the Garmin, it can't, just because the uh, number of inputs available. Okay, so this one does have the Garmin? I believe so, yeah. Say a command for additional commands. Well, when I said Garmin, it gave us the, it, 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 it woke it up. So it must yep. be a Garmin there. And that's all real carbon fiber around that navigation screen it there? It is, it is. Yep, uh, same way in the dash. Just absolutely love this Newell Coach cockpit area. These are the largest screens in the industry that I know of. You've got the two very large screens right here. What all's going on up here, yeah, Phil? I'm gonna go ahead and turn the ignition on. Andrew, on the touch screen here on the infotainment center, everything's at your fingertips. Um, two or three years ago, we eliminated the dials and the switches and the buttons and uh, went to this touch screen. Uh, you can control your temperature, like on the air conditioner, just a, a touch uh, with the touch. Uh, climate control uh, or fan speed as well. 
and then you can go around and you can see all the different uh, get different controls. You can connect your phone to the system. You have your uh, your various cameras. You got your rear view camera. You got your left and right side uh, coming off the cameras. You got your uh, left side fuel and right side fuel doors. That that enables you when you're pulling in to to get fuel. Um, you don't have to guess if you're next to the fuel pump. It'll it'll show you when you when you get there. And then uh, an interior view, and then of course the rear view that uh, allows uh, allows us to uh, yeah, see. toggle up and down or side. To, uh, we can also pan side to side as well. Yeah, I really like that feature where you can toggle to look down at your hitch if you need. Oh, you just press that hitch and it goes right to it so that when you're lining up the receiver with the ball, uh, it makes life a lot easier. But then if you just want to uh, go back to the, the rear of the coach, you can see you know your tow vehicle, very easy to use. Right, I really right. like that. And if you want to have a view of your rear camera here, yeah, you can change the view if you wanted to go back. You could change it if you if you were in a real tight spot and you wanted something to, to see what was at the door. Yep. You'd be able to see there and have this camera going at the same time. Getting around some of these campgrounds is definitely a time when oh, yeah. you can't have enough cameras. So I definitely really like that feature. Yeah, if you have a boulder on one side and then you're watching the rear, it's good to have be able to have two views so that you're. Uh, you're not makes life easier oh, it does yes it does. sir that's what it's all about we, we've also got the mirror controls that uh, you, you tap on the, the pane that you want to adjust and then use your arrows to adjust it we've got the uh, defrost uh, or the heated uh, mirrors as well and then uh, of course the volume control uh, the passenger also has uh, controls over some of these features if you look over here yeah the passenger can control uh, some of the features as well Oh. Uh, so it doesn't have to always be the driver. Oh, I like that. You can control the audio, volume, climate control, uh, the lighting. And this is the first time I've ever personally used this. And I mean, there's no learning curve at all. Just very simple, easy to get to. Uh, you've got your exterior temperature display as well as your time display. I really like this layout. Very, very, very intuitive. And uh, really, uh, you know, as we're getting older, I'm finding that Bigger is better. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. As far as the icons go, and uh, being able to control the the volume on the radio, for example, on the some of the radios uh, out there, they're designed for uh, 18 to 25 year old males uh, that don't have uh, bifocals. <laughs> yes, sir. In, in our case, it's uh, it's a little different. Also, on this screen, uh, something that's very helpful is all the information you need to get uh, service. We have a 24 hour, uh, seven day a week. Uh, number that uh, our customers can call in and get help from an actual technician. I've heard all kinds of Newell Coach owners bragging about that support system and how priceless it is. Uh, I know Mark Martin said he called, you know, at like one o'clock in the morning on an Easter Sunday, got a call back. So definitely very priceless system you guys oh, have. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, service is what sells. Um, uh, without good service, uh, we wouldn't have all the repeat business. We certainly wouldn't be out 18 months in, uh, in orders if we, <laughs> yes, sir. if we didn't have good service. So. And then uh, some of the other features, uh, the leveling system, uh, we, and we've got redundancy. We've got the, a, a panel up above, uh, up above here that uh, is also for your leveling. And then you've also got uh, leveling on your iPad. Uh, Valid uh, Manufacturing is also the company that uh, makes our slides. They're also responsible for the leveling system. Um, and we've got, uh, again, some redundancy there. Um, you have the ability to control your slides uh, up here, or you have uh, the ability to do it with your iPad while you're walking around the coach and making sure that uh, you've got good clearance for your slides if you need to. In the dash area, we've got, um, You've got the controls over here as well. And I, I didn't mention it, I was talking about the touch screen, but if I, if I hit the infotainment center button uh, here, I can actually control some of these, uh, these features with this dial that's uh, over on the left-hand side as well. And then if I go to the, the gauges, you'll notice that I can scroll through, uh, like there is your, uh, your tire pressures. Yeah. Your brake life tells us if any of the bay doors are ajar. 
Uh, there's our steering assist. Uh, we have the electronic steering assist. Uh, see, I can I can control the stiffness. I don't know if you can see the yeah see it moving there, but I can control the how stiff it is. This electronic steering assist uh, keeps the, the wheel centered. It keeps returning to center. Uh, you won't find that on any of the bus conversions. Uh, this is uh, something that Newell has. Uh, you've got your trip odometer. Uh, there's even a, on the settings, uh, you know, people are different heights and we can control the screen position. Yeah. Uh, control the colors, the screen position. Yeah, I, can, I like I can, that. I can move that screen up and down depending on how tall I am or where I have the, the steering wheel position so that I'm, I'm able to uh, see the entire screen. I really like the, all the little stuff that you guys think of like that. Yeah, well, let's keep looking through this coach here. Uh, one thing that I like is uh, I learned recently that these are called the David Ottoman, kind of a new design where Newell Coach uh, switched it up a little bit. And I really like the styling that they're using on that. Yeah, yeah, it's a little more contemporary uh, than, uh, than our other Ottoman. Uh, we offer both, and of course, well, we've, we've got two or three different designs on the Ottomans uh, the, to choose from. Yeah, so what else is going on in this coach, sir? Well, the, uh, I may have mentioned the quartz. There, there's such a variety now in, uh, in quartz that, uh, that you, can, you can get a, a marble look or a granite look. Uh, you've got some quartz products that are uh, smooth but then have some, a little bit of veining in them. Just one large piece of stone. You don't have any grout lines or anything. It's just really cool with those really large veins through the stone and I've got to just point out some of the textures that I'm seeing as I walk through this coach like on these lights here uh, just just the, the cool textures and then the fabrics that they picked out here uh, for this dinette area really light cool colors with a real modern pattern and they really knocked it out of the park on this coach yeah then we we've got an artist that we work with uh, that uh, we commissioned to um, uh, she takes the, the fabrics uh, that the customer selects and then comes up with a, a custom piece of artwork and you'll see that here and in the, in the back as well. Yeah, uh, I've got to get a close up of this. This has got a very cool texture on it and I know it incorporates some of that outside and the inside ties it all together. Really beautiful piece of artwork there. And then the, the contrasting laminates uh, are, have become very popular as well. The, there's such a variety with uh, with the wood grains, uh, you can even get with an actual texture to it. Yes, instead sir. Instead of uh, instead of just a, a smooth finish, um, and then uh, using a contrasting laminate for the bulkheads and and the walls, this also has a texture to it, and uh, it really uh, really classy. Yeah. Uh, the, these clients decided to go with the uh, a lot of the stainless. Yes. Uh, the stainless look. Uh, on the refrigerator as well, this GE monogram. Look at the size of those hinges. It's, yeah, uh, it's, it's I always sturdy. love pointing that out, and it's just so bright in there. Uh, really, I mean, look at all of that lighting that they've got, and just so big, and I can just feel that cold air coming out. Uh, and then you guys have the ice drawer, drawer as well as the freezer. Right, it's uh, and it's up top rather than at the bottom, which uh, which I like. The uh, and you can use it as a, a freezer uh, space as well. And then the freezer below is, is deeper. Yeah. Than you have. Very cool. And that same stone too, I'm noticing here, uh, just another piece of stone with that very large vein uh, with your coffee maker area and then your wine glasses. Right, and then uh, the, uh, uh, these clients also chose uh, hardware for the, the drawers. Uh, normally Newell has, the, uh, has a magnetic uh, release but they chose the uh, the hardware, which is fine with us. Yeah, still looks really yeah, nice. I yeah. like that look, actually. It, look, it looks great. I, I like what, the way it turned out. Sometimes you want to be careful with hardware uh, in a tight area. You want to get some like this that, that are smooth so that your clothes don't uh, grab them whenever you're walking down the aisle when the slides are in. I just absolutely love all of the little uh, accent pieces and all the little design stuff that Newell does. Even that backsplash has a very cool look to it. I don't know if you guys can see the textures inside uh, of those tiles, but there's actually a texture 
within each of those tiles just beautiful yeah there and then up above you've got the uh these kit the chem metal that we use uh, behind all the the panels yes sir just really uh a lot, lot of variety there too th that we have to choose from and uh when the that accent lighting hits it um in fact we you want to turn off some yeah lights. let's yeah let's Dallas. turn off some lights here absolutely we'll just go over to this uh new n1 panel here with the n1 system or, right. or would you consider that an n1 panel or how yeah would you... yeah this is this is part of the n1 system okay uh, and it's a it's a touch panel um let's see here. oh yeah look at that so now as it gets darker like in the evening time uh when you're winding down for the day you can just have all those accent lights on you know the indirect lighting just really sets the mood for the uh yeah, definitely a very right. warm, comfortable mood. Uh, just, just really makes it comfortable in here. And it's, it's amazing how much just changing that lighting changes the entire feel of the coach. When it's bright, it's just really a bright feel. And then yeah. you, you, you dim it down, and it just, just oh, changes yeah. the mood. Very, very cool how you guys do that. Well, let's get these lights turned back okay. on. And uh, it's still morning time, Phil. We still got work to do. All so. right, all right, we'll do it. Now these are, uh, as Phil's turning those on, I want to point out these Gallo speakers here throughout the coach. Absolutely, you know, phenomenal sound system. That's the top of the game when you get to speakers. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, the surround sound system is great. You'll notice that you've got the, the darker ones up here. Yes, sir. But then we've got the lighter color here. Oh yeah, I like that. So the white uh, speakers that match this part of the coach, right. and then a darker one, a darker color here. Oh but yeah, it's, it's down below. Oh, very your cool. Center, your center channel and your other two channels um, up uh, up in the front as well. Very cool. Yeah. So going into the middle of the coach here. Yeah. The, uh, the, this floor plan. This floor plan offers a lot of uh, a lot of storage. Uh, you got a, a great galley space here. I, I'll real quickly. You've got the trash can with some utility. Uh, you, utility area back here as well uh, and our, our you'll notice our countertops are quite a bit deeper than what you'll see yes sir so that's also going to increase the amount of storage uh, down below as well and then uh, the storage above and below the dishwasher oh, I like that good old knock <laughs> yep yeah, three knocks and you, it opens up and then your uh, Drawers above, below the countertop. You can just, you know, when you're opening and closing those doors, you can just feel of how solid and sturdy and well engineered oh, yeah. that is. It's like I'd say, like opening and closing a Mercedes Benz door is what that reminds me of. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, well over here. Uh, you've got even more storage. Oh yeah. And it it's hard to uh, explain that without showing it, but. Because of Newell's platform, we have a lot more floor space than what you'll find, say, in the bus conversion industry uh, because of, of what they do with the uh, DPF filter and things in the back. With us, we build it from the ground up to be a motor coach so that we're increasing the amount of floor space, which is going to increase the amount of storage space that you get throughout the coach. And uh, so you'll see bigger drawers, more drawers, more, taller drawers, taller drawers uh, throughout. Also, here, this is, this is pretty remarkable. Oh yeah, a lot of uh, pantry space there. And those are deep pantries too. Yep. And again, you can just feel that build quality. I think you could put some pretty pretty heavy you know, stuff on there and it, oh, it can handle it. Absolutely, well you've got, and then you've got twice as much. Yes sir, <laughs> yeah. So four pantries there, four just a ton of storage. Yep. And then because of that height here, uh, you, it, you just, it just stacks a lot taller where you, know, you don't have quite as much in the basement bays, but boy, does it make up for it here in the coach. Absolutely, and that's where you're living. Yes, sir. And you want to make sure you've got everything you need here. And then with the uh, washer and dryer, we've got in, in this floor plan, it's, uh, it's in the hallway, but we're able to, to slide the doors back, easy access to the washer and dryer. Uh, we, as a standard, we use the, uh, the Whirlpool, this uh, stacked unit, but then we will put in the front loads, if uh, front loaders, if people want them. Uh, but in the front loaders, uh, 
typically you're required to leave those doors open so they don't get a musty smell. And in a motorhome, that's harder to do uh, without uh, creating interference whenever you're trying to walk through the hall or uh, in the bathroom, it works a little bit better. But we'll, we'll do whatever people want. Yeah. yeah. But uh, as a standard, we use the, the Whirlpool. It also makes an area so when people are pulling clothes out of the dryer, they've got a place to stack them. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's a little more convenient. And uh, this one doesn't have the agitator, so it's easier on the clothes as well. Okay. Yeah. Now, I, this half bathroom just keeps oh, kept, catching my eye. I've got to get everybody a close up of this underlit. Is that an agate uh, countertop? No, I believe that's also quartz. Oh, so this underlit countertop here with that very cool sink and then that backsplash just really pops. And the, the finishes, I've got to get everybody a close up of this texture on the wall here and then a completely different texture behind the head there. Absolutely beautiful this, finishes. This, this particular uh, this particular one, I, I really like because when it has a light from the top, it creates a shadow. Oh yeah, See? yeah. And, uh, I've seen that in like a lot of like five-star restaurants and resorts, absolutely. that kind of a look. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a neat product. And again, as you uh, as you come back and you look at these panels, instead of instead of you know a couple of panels on each side, you've just got the the single touch panel. Now with the with the new N1 system, uh, again we streamlined uh, everything as far as the the switch groups. Uh, they're not exposed, uh, so you don't have to worry about the light um, shining at night because uh, these are going to black out. But as soon as you hit them, they'll yeah. Uh, Look at that they illuminate. Beautiful finishes and I really like how that artwork when you walk into this rear bedroom just ties everything together with the pillows, the different finishes, the artwork, just a beautiful design. Yeah this this floor plan again it, it offers a, a tremendous amount of storage. We've already seen what was in the galley and in the, the hallway where the pantry is but you come into the bedroom and you've got drawers, oh, yeah. closet space, on uh, on the front side of the, the bed and then over here you've got more closet yeah and, and i you, just you can have short hang or long hang or a combination of both if you wanted yeah and then i'll point out that there's an outlet here in case you want to store a vacuum cleaner in this closet and then i want to point out too how all of this is all bowed i mean that's very difficult you can see all of these curves, e even over here on this side, that same style, just to give it that sleek look and just a lot of craftsmanship that goes on. I think the craftsmen here at New are second to none uh, when you get into that intricate detail work. Yeah, there, there's a, a lot more that goes into the, the building of a cabinet than people realize because it's all covered up. You don't realize that there's probably three pieces of wood. Yeah. To make that one drawer we used to we used to uh, offer and we still offer a televator where the tv will pop up but in the bedroom uh, as long as they're getting a little bit of sunlight this is not an area where they necessarily look out the window all the time so yeah we save a little bit of space put the tv up top and uh, create some storage on each side but uh, the big thing is we add some storage down below yeah nine drawers total down there yeah. below where the tv where the televator would be Right, right. So there, there's a tremendous amount of storage that you gain there, and another closet, or a shell. In this case, they chose shelving. Yeah. And then down there, we have a subwoofer. Yes, sir. And all that same woodwork. I've got to just point out. That's just incredible at how they're able to do that. Yeah, yeah. That. And then, uh, and this, and this one, instead of the the speakers uh, hanging off the ceiling, uh, they've got a sound bar. Oh yeah. Uh, for the for the TV. Nice. I really like uh, what they were able to get both a closet and nightstands. And a king size bed as well. Right, uh, Junior King. Oh, Junior King, okay. Yeah. And on this middle cabinet here, you've got the, the handles on both sides where I can right. open and close it for this side. Or Phil, you want to show them? Uh, yeah. So rather than it being in the middle of the coach, makes it real easy and a lot of storage up here above your bed. Yeah. And um, people have a choice of how much, some people may want to have a cabinet here some don't uh, it's again it's anybody's choice as we're going through this coach too i want to point out this rug here there was another rug in the living room but this rug in the bedroom again like the artwork it ties everything together all these same colors and almost like an and different abstract patterns that just just tie together so well your design team just does a phenomenal job oh, just awesome 
but it's uh I don't know how they do it sometimes. <laughs> makes your job easy, right? <laughs> it makes it real easy. Yeah. Well, yeah, so this uh, rear bathroom here, this is something that's been catching my eye. Yeah, yeah. The, Huge. Uh, we, we've got the dual vanities back here. Sometimes we just have one vanity, but in this floor plan, we, we put in two vanities. Um, again, notice all the drawer space. And storage, storage down below there. Uh, we try to make the most of every bit of storage that we can even if we have something that prohibits us from having a full-size drawer We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and make a little drawer if we can Yeah, and this uh, the shower I'm noticing you've got a bench seat in there Phil you want to demonstrate for sure, us there? Uh... Sure. Um, this is this is obviously uh, the engine area we're, we're back at the rear of the coach so we make use of that space and create uh, create a lot more elbow room a bench. A lot of people like to be able to sit down. Um, and then also, uh, we've got a new drain system as well. Seamless drain where you don't even see, I mean, you barely see that little cut right there. That's right. very this, cool. This is, this is removable. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So you can, you can clean out the drain. And it's incredible how all those all those seams line up perfectly. The, the craftsmen right. here in every department at Newell are just at the top of the game in every way. Looking behind the head here, I love how everything gets finished off with all that same laminate. And, and then you've got, got even more storage. Yes, sir. Back here. Adjustable shelves. And then you've, uh, you've still got another drawer. And then a good sized rear closet as well. That's gonna right. be all cedar. All cedar closet. Got a little area down here. Your, your access to your, your breakers are uh, here in the closet. Yes, sir. And then behind the, behind the sink, you have all kinds of storage. More storage there. And then I'll point out that there's outlets inside of these, uh, uh, cabinets as well and then check out this lighting here on the ceiling absolutely stunning yeah the, no, notice that they make the we, they make the doors so that those of us that need to, need to fix our hair in the back <laughs> <laughs> obviously not you and I right no, no I don't think we have to worry about that <laughs> Phil, this has been an absolute treat to see Newell Coach 1731. I can't thank you enough for showing me and the folks out on YouTube absolutely. this absolutely beautiful coach. If somebody is a serious buyer and interested in ordering or purchasing a pre-owned Newell Coach, who should they get a hold of? Just give me a call at area code 541-953-3113 or uh, contact me by email at philc at newellcoach.com. I'll be happy to help you. Awesome, Phil. Can't thank you enough. I also can't thank all of you enough out there on YouTube that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.